Here we go. <laughs> Today on Shredding Spree, it's the second half of my exploration of the trails around Bentonville, Arkansas. In this half, I take a couple of recommendations from some local riders that ended up being really fun. But I also ended up getting greedy and pushing my luck with the weather a little too far. Round two, post-lunch shred. Spent all morning at Kohler. Just made my way over here. This is the Bella Vista area. Um, I think this area is called Wonderland. And this was a recommendation for me, to me from a local. I told him I was gonna try to come hit Slaughter. Look at that little drop. I told him I wanted to come hit Slaughter Pen, but he's kind of like told me like, meh, maybe don't. It's a little bit of the main attraction and sounded like he was implying that the trail has been dumbed down a little bit. So sent me up here, I'm looking for a little line called Mad Hatter got some good jumps and then it looks like a little bit the other way is a uh, another black diamond trail so we're gonna try to hit those two this looks pretty fun over here this is what my guy was talking about a little diving board diving board drop over here into this lip that's the uh, Cheshire cat I think painted into the lip of that a little fun drop jump scenario We'll be sure to get a hold of that. So I've already been on the bike for about four hours or three and a half hours today. Kind of taking a leisurely pace, riding a bit, sitting a bit, butt's feeling it a little bit. I know you were concerned about my butt. Well, Chris, how's your butt? It's not great, but this isn't about you, butt. This is about me. One thing I'll be sure to mention right now during a mundane climb is how much fun I'm having chatting with the locals around here. Everybody is just so kind and so welcoming. It's such a sharp contrast from the little known or non-sanctioned places that I find myself in sometimes. But they have an organization out here that digs. So everybody's just like, come on out, give it a rip. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? And it's just super cool. What an inviting atmosphere. Everybody, even just like the people that have nothing to do with riding at the restaurants and such. Super kind, hospitable, hospitable, hospital. I'm not jumping it unless I can see the landing. Couldn't see that one, but I can see that one. Case drop looks easy. This is a short little guy. I'll have to uh, do that again. Give it a little more sauce. Part of the great thing about sanctioned trails is there's really no surprises. Pretty good. Check this thing out. Old motorhome slash launch pad. Trail map <laughs> right in here. <laughs> this is great. Area 51. All right, so this is a double black trail. You launch out of the old motorhome here with the nails sticking out of the top. All right, I saw a couple of big things or big looking things on Ace of Spades as I was climbing that hill just now. So. I'm probably going to have to stop and look at some stuff, but 
We shall see. The sign is telling me I could potentially die if I don't take it seriously. <laughs> Rainbow Bridge here. Oh, we got a little stone diving board here. Not much of a gap to clear, so we're just gonna ride off of it. Was that it? That was all the stuff. Well, that was pretty cool. I liked Area 51. Wondering if perhaps I should give it another run. I climb back up. I'm back in this rig. I'm gonna try to flow this trail a little bit better. Try to carry a little more speed off this this time. Just ride Sally from here. So this area has got different terrain. It's very much like uh, shaley. A lot of small, loose rocks. A lot of those jumps were running just fine, but didn't seem like as well manicured as the stuff over at Kohler. It's a little drier over here, dry and loose. Ooh. Hello, friends. I just did a miserable pedal all to get to this trail, the ledges. So I hope it's fun. Literally nobody told me to take this trail, but I went and rode the Wonderland area and there's a couple of other trail maps and I could see things on trail forks and I saw this trail. It looked kind of uh, kind of cool and I read about it and it uh, didn't look that far, but guess what it was. So I just kind of did a death pedal for about 30 minutes. Finally made it to the trail, but I've got to get this thing done because I think it's going to get dark soon. So like I said, this trail is called The Ledges. I've gotten no report about it other than what I read on trail forks, but it looks cool. Most of that climb here, or the pedal here, felt like it was slightly uphill. So hopefully I'm able to just cruise back and go get a decent dinner because it's going to be time soon enough. Here we go. <laughs> Yahoo! -ho! Oh yeah, baby! Oh, I haven't had something like that yet today. A little bit of sustained speed. Oh, this trail's badass. This one I was feeling like I was out of gas. 
using this hardtail, pumping through those rollers. Momentum is a precious thing in this flat stuff. Okay, looks like we're crossing this dry river bed. Going back down the other side. Chunky rocks. All right. Ooh, it's got me working. Feels like it's getting dark, but sunset isn't for another hour and a half. <laughs> oh man, totally different landscape. I hope I'm coming up on some downhill. So far, I had one really fun downhill part and I feel like I've been climbing more than I've been descending. But I think flat-ish trails can be deceiving like that. These rock ledges are awesome. I was taking this green trail to go between a black trail, but I just came across Berm City back here. How cool is this? They don't like steep hills here, so they'll build you all the berms. Oh, hey, puppers. Hi. <laughs> it's a happy dog. Uh, yes, Sorry about that. No worries. No worries at all. Hardly anybody out here. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Feeling it in the old legs. 30 something miles on the day. This looks like a short little black bonus line called What in the Chunk? Oh, barely cleaned it. Oh, dude, this is an awesome trail going the other way. This is like the most downhilly trail I've seen this whole time, and I'm going up it. Clouds are getting dense, getting a little bit dark. I want to get out of here. This ride had sort of an anticlimactic ending with a bunch of mellow ups and downs. I never quite found the sweet downhill I was looking for, but overall the second half of the ride was great, but also feeling a little bit long and mundane by the end. I shot this footage starting from the Kohler Casa on the day I was meant to fly home. My flight wasn't until the afternoon, so I wanted to do what I could to get a quick peek of the slaughter pen area in the morning. I tried to get out as early as I could to avoid the rain in the forecast. Sun's just coming up. 7 a.m. right as the sun's coming up. This is my last morning I'm going to be here in Bentonville. And yesterday I went and rode like the Wonderland and a couple other trail systems up there and the ride ended up taking like three times longer than I thought it was going to. So I was planning on seeing Slaughter Pen yesterday, but I wasn't able to do that. Today, I have my flight this afternoon. Plenty of time to get a ride in. I gotta check out by 11 from the Airbnb. The bummer is it's raining, so, or it's supposed to rain. It's not raining yet. You can feel the moisture in the air, it's coming. 
uh, and it's going to probably start any minute, but I was just going to try to get out and check things out at Slaughter Pen, ride around until I, it actually starts raining, and then go back and pack up to leave. going to make this quick. It's a sneaky run, so stay tuned. <clears throat> kind of going for it this morning. Light's coming up a little bit. We're just going to ride till it rains. Put about 40 miles on the bike yesterday, so drive train's talking a little bit. Hands are even hurting a little bit from yesterday. Rolling with the lighter kit today it feels much more comfortable. No hip pack, not planning on being out all day, so. You'd think I'd come into this with like a plan or something, but I'm kind of just wandering. Medusa. Is there only 12 trail names in the whole world? Looks like it goes into some funny business and that's what I'm looking to find. It is chunky rockier than I thought it would be out here in Beeville. Oh, there's a jump park down there. I've seen this. I'm gonna roll everything real quick. Hip right here, a little on and off diving board thingy. Here's some decent little jumps. All right, let's get this a little run through. There's like three lines here, but everything here is designed really well. And I wanna just like send a snapshot to my hometown of Santa Clarita, who's making an initiative right now to tear down all their BMX jumps, not their BMX jumps, BMX jumps that people have built even giving out citations for riding BMX jumps on land that's not being used, jumps that have been there for 10 years, 10 plus years. Santa Clarita is out there making criminals out of BMX riders without giving them a place to ride. Went off that like a goon. Set up. Another case. Everything's gotta be a little more speed. Oh, it's starting to rain. Might be my last lap. Let's go. better than the first time. I want to get this bad boy, then I'll call it. Start heading back, <laughs> I'm all wet. I gotta say, jumping on a 27.5 bike is pretty sweet. You're used to those big wheels, this thing will dip and dive and turn real fast and easy. Getting wet now. Time to get out of here. Hey, I did see about one one thousandth of slaughter pen today. I think it was worth it. I don't know when or if I'll ever be back here. This is where my stupidity really starts to come out because I'm like, I don't feel a sprinkle now. I'm gonna turn around. Let's go down it. All right, is it gonna rain or not? Well, whether it rains or not, there's a top layer of water on the trails and I wouldn't really be a good bike ambassador if I were out putting tracks on it all. I think I'm calling it for the trip. How perfect is it that I rented a Tacoma for this trip? So mountain bikey. Wow, Chris, you're so mountain bikey. I'm easily distracted, you guys. It's kind of like drizzling on and off kind of raining a little bit but on a day where I don't get to slay a bunch of trails it's a good chance for me to go check some other things out 
and I wanted to come over here and check out this guy called the Masterpiece. So this is a really awesome feature that built out of stone here. It's just like a perma jump line here. <laughs> I've seen it on YouTube videos for years. I wanted to see it in person. It's not raining hard. The rain's teasing me. The whole handrail's a bike chain. Kind of deceiving because you feel like you got to turn more off that lip. I feel like I'm in the theme park while it's closed. Oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, you know what? I might just see what trails are right here. All right, well, I did that. I saw it, it was fun. I'm the only idiot out here riding. Watch it, squirrel. Yeah, I think I uh, got one more run. I'm gonna grab this black trail, head back to the truck, and officially call it like I did earlier. I got what I was asking for. I wasn't gonna stop until I got soaked. Hard-headed Chris. Rim trail. Oh yeah, there's the rain. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> I had to do it, you know? Hey, wash the bike. Bike's clean. Oh. I think that's officially gonna do it for uh, Shredding Spree Takes Bentonville. But man, what a great town. Tons of trails. It's not really my style of riding so much. I'm used to just like climbing up a mountain and bombing all the way down, but man, for a city to put this amount of effort into, uh, into a sport like mountain biking and see how much good it's done for the town, it's really encouraging. And I hope some other towns across America can follow suit. Thanks for watching. <laughs>